Say hi from Cherish Math. This is the question. A green circle is inscribed into a semicircle with diameter of 8. Two identical red circles are located at the left and right side of the blue circle as shown in this diagram, where all three circles are fit perfectly by touching each other. Proof that the connected centers ABCD is in the shape of a rhombus. Let me connect all the centers with the straight lines and this is how it looks like. Let the radius of the red circle to be R. And now I need to find for what is the radius of the green circle. And it is 2 simply by using 8 divided by 2 and that is the diameter of the green circle. And slash it half again, that will be just 2. Let the point of intersection of line BD and AC to be O. The length of OD is R and the length of BO is 2 minus R. By referring to the triangle of BOC, this is a right angle. And now I'm going to use the Pythagoras theorem to solve for what is the length of OC in terms of the radius R. And this is how it looks like after the expansion. And now I simplify it, I get the length of OC as the square root of 8R. Let me label the length of OC in the diagram here. This is the length. And this is the right angle. I'm going to extend line DC and this is how it looks like. I'm going to make another line connecting from the center C of the red circle to the base and this is the thing. By referring to the triangle of OCD, I need to find for what is the length of the BC and that is using Pythagoras theorem again. And this is how it turns out. And I can get to know for what is the value of the length of the BC by using the radius of a semicircle which is measuring at a 4 units minus the length that I am pointing here, which is the radius r. This is the length of the dc. And that is equal to this value. So I'm going to bring it down by copying. Let me expand for this part. And keep going for that. The value of r I'm getting with one unit. And now, here is the final solution. By substituting the value of r as one unit into the dc here the value of the dc that i'm going to get here is three units as the length of the dc and the same thing happens for the bc which i'm going to get by using two plus r and the r is one and i get three units as well for the part of the conclusion i know that bc and the dc is in the same length and the same process is going to happen for the part of AB and AD as well. And I prove that for the part ABCD is in the shape of rhombus. We solved the puzzle here. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.